tell you the whole story. Back in the day, it was 2007, my first year out of high school, and me and Sam decided that we would go visit Liz when she did her dance classes on the Tuesday night. And so, from about, for whatever, 7.30 to 8.30 or whatever it had happened to be, we would sit there in the auditorium, or the dance studio, or whatever you might call it. We would sit down on the chairs in the uh, gallery, and we would watch Liz and sometimes Lachlan, if he happened to be there, doing their dance routines. And then, after the dance session was over, everyone would go downstairs to the open air area where there's the car park and there's the uh, fast food places and a bit of an open uh, sort of courtyard sort of thing and during the summer months when daylight savings was still around it was still bright out at nine o'clock at night and so the cockatoos hadn't been sent to bed yet and so they, but it was night time enough that they weren't just flying around, you know, actually doing their work. So and so they were awake, but they had nothing, no work to do. And so they just spent the entire time just screaming. <coughs> and the trees that surrounded the car park and courtyard area were all the trees that hosted cockatoos. And so it felt like you were just surrounded by these screaming creatures, very high-pitched, very loud, endlessly. And so that period of time... And so that period of time after we left the dance studio... And so... I just remember that half an hour period where the dancing had formally ended but it wasn't time to go home yet because people were still smoking and chatting and catching up. That half an hour was unbearable. It was the most, it was the worst period of the entire week where I had to just sit there and listen to the screeching birds. How could they be all chatting and stuff with the screeching? I don't know. They must have more patience and will than I do.